Hello, thank you for visiting Annie Electronics. In our previous video, we discussed diode resistance. We will learn how to read a diode datasheet today. This will include understanding the key terms for any datasheet, which are important for debugging and for the performance of the device. It is natural to ask what a datasheet is. The datasheet is the manual or the man page of any electronic component in its simplest form. The datasheet describes the nature and the operation of the component. Although the datasheet uses very specific technical terms that may seem confusing to a first-time user, those terms must be understood by a first-time user. Let us now examine the datasheet for a semiconductor diode. One of the most popular rectifier diodes is the 1N4001. It is manufactured by various manufacturers. We will pick a datasheet from a manufacturer at random and understand its technical terms. The source of the datasheet is mentioned in the description below. The first section discusses the material, lead, which is used to package the outer section, and passivation, a process or technology used at the final stage to prevent corrosion. This section describes the ranges of peak repetitive reverse voltage and we will understand this in the same video. It refers to semiconductor fabrication technology. When one or both of the doped regions of a PN junction are made by diffusion, the junction is called a diffuse junction. In other words, this is an impurity that is added to silicon or germanium crystals by diffusion. In the feature section, it describes the packaging and shipping information, which is very easy to understand. A material's mechanical characteristics are described in the mechanical characteristics section. A diode's outer surface is coated with epoxy resin. Each diode weighs approximately 0.4 grams. Diodes have an outer metal section, or the lead, that is the connection between anode and cathode which is corrosion resistant and solderable. For the purposes of soldering, it also instructs the user what the maximum permissible surface temperature and time are. The band section helps us to understand the cathode terminal. We learn about the other family members of the IN400 series in this section. Let us now consider the factors or criteria that should be considered while selecting a diode for a particular design. Peak repetitive reverse voltage or work peak reverse voltage, the unit is in volt and described as VRRM or VRWM or VR. It is the maximum voltage that can be applied to the diode while it is reverse biased. The maximum voltage experienced across the PN junction diode once it stops conducting. The peak inverse voltage, or PIV, is the maximum voltage across the terminals of the diode once it is connected in a circuit in reverse bias. Every diode has a specific peak inverse voltage or PIV value according to the manufacturer. If the reverse bias voltage does not beat this PIV, the diode will be damaged. If the voltage across the PN junction diode is higher than PIV then it travels throughout an avalanche breakdown. In this case, potential barriers will be damaged, resulting in a high impulse current flowing in the opposite direction. This high current can damage the diode as well as the device. Hence, if you wish to design a circuit with AC voltage or current involved, such as half-wave or full-wave or bridge rectifiers, based on the AC input value, you need to calculate the PIV, match it with the datasheet and select the appropriate diode. The non-repetitive peak reverse voltage, the unit is in volt and defined as VRSM, it is defined as the maximum instantaneous value of the reverse voltage, including any non-repetitive transient voltages, but not including any repetitive transient voltage that occurs across the device. The specification of frequency value is an important consideration for the AC voltage since the voltage is instantaneous. RMS reverse voltage the unit is in volt and defined as VRRMS. This is the maximum voltage that can be applied to a diode. The average value of the forward current or average rectified output current, the unit is in amps and defined as IO or IFV when using the diode as a rectifier. 
The maximum allowable average rectified output current is determined by the peak reverse voltage applied during the time when no current flows. Non-minus repetitive peak surge current The unit is in amps and defined as IFSM is the maximum current pulse that can be carried by the PN junction diode for the period of time, the repetition frequency, and the specified waveform. Let us understand what is surge current in brief. Frequently, electrical networks are subject to surge currents, which are sudden, fast-moving, short-lived, high-amperage electrical signals. A surge voltage occurs when electrical equipment is turned on. A surge current occurs when loads are suddenly changed. Operating and storage junction temperature range and it is defined as Tj and the unit is degrees Celsius. It is the maximum temperature under which a diode can work. If you notice, it can operate in temperatures ranging from minus 65 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. This is because an electronic device can be used for domestic, military, and industrial purposes. Notice the given symbol, which describes JEDEC registered data. JEDEC records and defines data within established rules. Let us now understand the meaning thermal characteristics from the datasheet. Maximum thermal resistance, junction minus to minus ambient is defined as R theta JA. In terms of thermal resistance, the junction to ambient resistance is the resistance existing between a semiconductor junction and ambient air, junction to ambient temperature. R theta JA is a measure of the ability of a device to dissipate heat from the surface of the die to the ambient air via all paths. Let us now understand the meaning electrical characteristics from the datasheet. Maximum instantaneous forward voltage drop, which is symbolized with VF, resulting from the flow of current in the forward direction, it is the voltage across the terminals of the diode. There is one word that needs to be clarified, and that is instantaneous. Instantaneous in this case means that the measurement was performed using pulsed excitation, rather than continuous excitation, current or voltage. In semiconductor measurements, this technique is commonly used, and it is also mentioned frequently in the datasheets. Maximum full minus cycle average forward voltage drop is symbolized with VF Avenue. It is the average forward voltage drop over a complete cycle. Maximum reverse current is symbolized by IR under reverse bias operation with the maximum DC inverse voltage applied, the amount of current flowing through the diode. This is also referred to as leakage current. Look at the unit, it is very very small and hence it is in microamps order. Maximum full minus cycle average reverse current is symbolized by IRAV. The reverse current average is obtained while the diode is in reverse bias mode and when it is exiting with an AC voltage or current. The datasheet also provides four characteristics data with the same level of detail. For an ambient temperature, it is useful to know what the forward current would be when an instantaneous forward voltage is applied. In addition, the reverse characteristics graph plots the leakage current for the diode when reverse voltage is applied. When we were looking at our previous episode, we saw that when the diode was in reversed bias mode, as reverse voltage increased, the depletion region increased, and it acted like a capacitor. To better understand, the same characteristics were also plotted. For a designer, the provided data is helpful in choosing the components for a particular electronic circuit. The datasheet also includes some additional information, like the dimensions of the product and instructions on how to mount it. This gives us a good understanding of the nature and characteristics of the device through the overall information in the datasheet. These explanations for the datasheet components should help you to understand any other datasheet for any electronic component. Further datasheets will be examined for other electronic components in the future. If we miss any crucial information, please comment. If you need to understand any specific datasheet for an electronic component, comment down and we'll cover it in our future episode. Thank you for watching.